Welcome to the MSM tutorials. Today in this class, we will be discussing the concept of mode. So let us jump into the class now. We being the science students, we will be regularly using the word mode, that too in chemistry. But what exactly the mole is? What is the definition of mole? Where it is used? What is the application of mole? What are the different comparisons made by the mole concept? Let us look into it. Okay. First and foremost, let us look into the quantity of mole. 1 mole is equals to 6.022 into 10 to the power of 23 atoms, molecules or particles. Means, any one mole of substance will be having 6.022 into 10 to the power of particles present in it. This number 6.022 into 10 to the power of 23 is called as Avogadro number. Okay. One mole of substance is equals to Avogadro number of particles present in it. Let me give you a task belt to measure the particles present in one glass of water. Definitely will be answering me that, sir, how is it possible to measure one mole of, uh, sorry, molecules present in that one glass of water? It is not practically possible, sir. But it is possible when it comes to chemistry. Chemistry makes it possible. One mole of water can be measured by using the Avogadro number. Means one mole of one mole of water will be consisting of 6.022 into 10 to the power of 23 molecules present in that. Okay. Next, let us look into the definition of mole. The definition of mole here is amount of substance that contains the same number of molecules, atoms, or particles as there are in 12 grams of carbon 12. Too tedious, right? The same feeling has come when I read it first. But when you split this statement, you'll be making it easy. Okay. So how can we split this statement? Simple. Any one mole of substance will be equal to 12 grams of carbon 12. This is the uh, meaning of this statement. Okay. Any one mole of substance will be equal to 12 grams of carbon 12 okay we can understand it by looking at some examples by taking carbon 12 as a standard okay the example is if you are going to measure the atoms in one mole of gold it will be equal to atoms in 12 gram of carbon 12 according to this statement here uh, one gram one mole of gold will be having atoms in 12 grams of carbon 12. Okay. But we have read before, right? 1 mole is equal to Avogadro number of particles. So this 2 will be further equal to 6.022 into 10 to the power of 23 atoms. Okay. So 1 mole of gold, atoms in 1 mole of gold is equal to atoms in 12 gram of carbon 12, which is further equal to 6.022 into 10 to the power of 23 atoms okay we being the science students all the students will be thinking uh, two deep questions and uh, two uh, two deep thinking we will be having that uh, why only avogadro number why it is called only avogadro number why can't it be called by my name see the answer to your question will be given in the origin of avogadro number okay avogadro number is originated or it is introduced by a scientist named Lorenzo Romanio Amedio Carlo Avogadro. Wait, I repeat it, okay? Lorenzo Romanio Amedio Carlo Avogadro. Almost a sentence, right? But it is the name of the scientist. So, this sentence can be reduced to Avogadro, okay? Avogadro. Avogadro is a scientist who introduced the Avogadro number. Hence, it is called by his name. Avogadro number is equal to, as you know, 6.022 into 10 to the power of 23. Okay. Avogadro introduced the Avogadro number. But uh, after the introduction, uh, it should be applied somewhere, right? Uh, since it is to be applied somewhere, he introduced the number. Okay. It has got the application to measure the 
quantities or represent the quantities. So Avogadro number is used to represent the quantities. For example, as we saw before, okay, to measure here atoms in one mole of gold, we need to take the help of Avogadro number. That is, one atoms in one mole of gold is equals to 6.022 into 10 to the power of 23 atoms. See, here it is a substance, here it is a quantity which is represented by Avogadro number. Okay, this is one of the applications of Avogadro number. So, today I have learned the concept of mole. Okay, uh, another applications of uh, uh, mole is that uh, it is used in the uh, science studies like uh, phys atomic physics. We will be using the Avogadro number. Uh, just though uh, it is uh, used in the uh, science field, it is not uh, advised to be used in day-to-day -day life. For example, think that you learned the concept of mold today. Tomorrow your morning you are going to buy a milk. You go to the shop. You ask that shopkeeper to give give me one mole of milk. Sir. First and foremost, he will be looking you like this in a terror look okay what this guy is looking huh? what this guy is saying he's not speaking my language let him be yeah this is what happens when you use the concept of mole in day-to-day -day life first and foremost the shopkeeper will be thinking you as man though you are a genius second point though he is a genius like you though he know the concept of mole he can't give you this quantity of milk to you. Though he gives, you can't carry that amount of milk to your home. Okay. So, it is not advised to be used in the day-to-day -day life. The concept of mole is not advised to use in the day-to-day -day life. The, I said you that uh, when it comes to numbers, Avogadro number helps us to identify one mole of any substance. Okay. 1 mole of any substance will be equal to the Avogadro number of particles when it comes to numbers means 1 mole of substance 1 mole of one substance is equals to the 1 mole of other substance okay when it comes to numbers but when it comes to mass will it remain the same think no when it comes to mass the mole concept do not remain same as in terms of numbers because the masses of two substances will be different. Though they are of same mole, or though, though they are of one mole, the masses of that substances differ when it comes. One mole of substance is equal to one mole of other substance when it comes to numbers. One mole of substance mass is not equal to one mole of another substance mass. Okay. By taking the example, let us come to know that mass of one mole of the mass of one mole of silver is not equal to the mass of one mole of gold because the mass of silver is different the one mole of mass of silver is different one mole of mass of gold is different they are not the same but when it comes to the numbers means the Avogadro number one mole of quantity though both remains the same because the particles or the number Avogadro number remains the same for the both the metals. Okay. So today's concept was mole. We discussed the quantity of mole, how to measure the mole, the definition of mole, the origin of mole, and uh, by looking at the examples, we came to know or we made it easy to understand the concept of mole. Uh, next, the application of mole we have discussed and uh, based on the numbers and masses, how the mole concept is explained, we came to know in this class. I hope you understood the class. So, thank you for today. Keep me supporting as usual. Please like, share, subscribe. Thank you.